Hi, this is Blake Angelos from Yamaha here at Sam Ash with the all new CP73 and CP88 stage pianos. The new CP features authentic sound, a realistic touch, and an all new design featuring a one to one interface that makes it easy to create your own sound and interact with the instrument in real time. There are two models in the CP line. The CP73 features a 73 note E to E balanced hammer action. The 73 note is a great size for a gigging keyboard player, and the reason why it's E to E is because bass players, guitar players, their lowest string is E, so now your keyboard matches their range in a very nice way. The balanced hammer action on the CP73 is perfect for people who are focusing on electric pianos, clavs, organs, or other types of instruments. The CP88 features an 88 note natural wood graded hammer action. Graded hammer meaning it's heavier in the low end, lighter in the high end to simulate the feel of a grand piano. In fact, it also has synthetic ebony and ivory key tops, so it feels great on the fingers. It also has our triple sensor action. So what does that mean? That means that I can re-strike the note before it returns from a full keystroke, just like on a grand piano. So you can see, I can play really fast repetitive notes without it having to go all the way to the top. It feels great for a pianist. This is the one that you want, the CP88. The pianos you just heard came from the piano section of the CP88. In the piano section, you have a grand piano that you can switch to the different pianos in here. You also heard me play the U1. There's a selection of upright pianos that are really awesome in here, a U1 and an SU7. And then you also have the CP80 electric grand and a layered piano. So as I select something like, say, the grand piano right here, the CFX, you'll notice that I have some controls that are specific to that piano section. You have a volume control for the volume, turning it up and down in this section here. You notice that there's LED rotary encoders around, so you can always tell where you're at with the setting here in the volume. The tone control makes it brighter or darker. You also have a damper pedal resonance switch, which you can turn on and off. On a live gig, you may not want to have that sympathetic vibration, so you can turn it on or off, which is great. The CP has three sections. There's a piano section, electric piano section, and a subsection. Each of these sections that are all encased in the black here have the same control. So you have volume, tone, an on and off switch that turns that section on and off, a split control where you can set it either left and right or left or right, and then octave controls. Each one of these controls is going to be the same in each section. What's different are the effects that you can use with each section. In the piano, you have things that are specific for an acoustic piano, like damper pedal resonance, or stuff like compressor. We even give you some stuff that you might want to use on a piano, like a distortion or a chorus effect. 
chorus effect is awesome for an upright piano, which is used a lot of times I hear in pop music today. There's a lot of these kind of upright piano sounds that are chorus. So you have that ability with this section. In the electric piano section, you have effects that are specific kind of for an electric piano, like touch wah, pedal wah. Actually, you can hook up an FC7 to the continuous controller foot switch and use the pedal effect to control it like a wah-wah pedal. You also have a compressor in here, a ring modulator, which is cool, a tremolo, an auto pan. And then the second set of effects are phasers and flangers. It uses our virtual circuitry modeling technology for some of these phasers in here. So they really do a great job of creating that authentic vintage sound with those effects in the electric piano section. Now in the sub section where you have things like pads and strings and organs and so on, you have some other controls in here. Definitely you have a chorus and flanger effect, a rotary speaker because that's where the organs exist, so we have the rotary speaker in here, tremolo and distortion in here. But then you also have an attack and release for the amplitude envelope because there are some synth type sounds where you might want a longer attack or a longer release on a pad sound to add to your piano or electric piano. Finally, the section over here is where the master effects are. You have a delay, a reverb, and an EQ. The cool thing about this is if I turn on the delay and I want to have separate delay lines for each of the three areas, I have a switch here that moves me through each of them. So piano, electric piano, subcategory, and then that's all of them so I can control them all if I want to so they all have the same reverb or delay effect. But if I want to have different delays maybe on the electric piano, I want it maybe up here but on the piano, I don't want any delay at all. I can turn it all the way down, and sure enough, it's all the way down here, whereas the electric piano is up all the way. So you have different sends per part here for both depth of the delay and depth of the reverb. And then you have a master EQ that you can turn on and off that is, that is separate from the rest of the instrument. So if I always have my EQ set and I move through different sounds, this will remain on or off however I want it but it's independent of all the different sounds and all the different setups. So those are your sections, piano, electric piano, subsection, and then the master section. The last thing I want to point out is this area right here where the volume is and things like that. Well, how do I recall sounds, you might be wondering. Let's say I have this here. I have a piano, an electric piano, and maybe I have them split. I have a subcategory. How do I save this setup? That's what we call a live set. I can select live sets with these eight different buttons on the front. They illuminate when I select one. Some other cool things, there's banks in here too. So if I want to move through the different banks, there's bank 11, bank 10, bank 9, and so on. And then, this is so this is bank 8, sound 2, sound 3, and so on. Another cool thing is this little push and turn knob. If I want to move through the sounds, all I have to do is literally just grab it. And you see the scroll comes up as soon as I grab it. Now, I haven't selected anything yet until I find one. Oh, here's one I want. I want this one that says clavi wah distortion. So I touch here, I've selected it. So it's a push and turn situation here. So there's a number of different ways to select the sounds in here. You can do it by a button. You can do it through the pages this way. Or you can just move this little cool rotary select knob right here. Very cool. You'll notice you also have split point, transpose, touch response. This is the whole point of what a one-to-one -one interface. There's not a lot of menu diving here. You want to set the split point? Touch here. Done. I set the split point. If I want to transpose the instrument, touch transpose, move the knob. I've transposed it up two half steps, or I go the other way. Boom. Very, very fast. That is the cool thing about this instrument. It's a one-to-one -one interface. Thank you, Yamaha engineers. It's really awesome. But the best thing about this instrument is that it feels so good, you'll have to go into the Sam Ash store and check this out because you really need to feel this. It's just, it's impeccable. Amazing product.
So I want to talk about that reed piano you just heard. This comes from some new content that we just released with version 1.1 of the OS for CP. So the CP series features flash memory, and Yamaha will be providing regular OS updates that add new content to the instrument. So what do you get when you update to version 1.1? You get an all-new Yamaha C7 acoustic piano, one of the most recorded pianos in the world, and this one is expressive and wonderful, great sounding piano. There's also an all-new reed piano that we call the Backline Reed. It's a great, great, in fact, you just heard it on the demo. That was the version 1.1 reed piano that we added. And then there's a new time piano that's called the 67. This was a very specific instrument that was basically the favored backline reed piano that was used by all the artists in LA. This is a great, great, authentic, vintage 67 reed piano. So those are the three things that you get with CPOS. So where do you get the update? Well, check YamahaSynth.com. We'll announce the update there, and you'll also find great tutorials, guides, videos, all sorts of content for your CP at YamahaSynth.com. So that's the new CP series, the CP88 and the CP73. Both of the instruments are identical internally. The difference is the action. The difference is the lightweight 73 EDE action for going on a gig or an 88 graded hammer natural wood synthetic ebony ivory action for the pianist. The great thing about this product is that when you play it, it feels really good. It's a metal case. It's built very well, but yet it's still super lightweight. Great for a stage piano. I've been in this company a long time and I've played a lot of great stage pianos. The CP4, for example, love the CP4. This takes it to another level. The one-to-one -one interface and the feel of this instrument is just incredible. You have to go in and check it out. Once again, this is Blake Angels from Yamaha here at Sam Ash with the all new CP88 and CP73 stage pianos. Thanks for watching. Yeah. <laughs>